The sun's going down now. As the day goes into night, I think things get odder and odder. As they say, freaks do come out at night. But Wonder Woman is never nervous. She's on the ball. Hold on, I got a ticket here. There's a handicapped violation. $170. You can't park here. People do need the handicap access at all different times. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, that was awful. I didn't notice that he was in the vehicle. I still gave him a ticket because he was in violation. It's not my job to wake up someone from their slumber, but that's a first. I'm gonna have nightmares about that one. Wow. I'm sure we're going to meet a few strange people. The night is still young. They can't hide from Wonder Woman. Uh, I think we got some, let's see, let's see. Got another one with no handicap sticker. Excuse me, can you get out of my car, please? Excuse me, you need to get out of the car. What are you doing? Why would you be in my car? How do you find my way I don't know what to tell you. We can call a police officer for you. Can you please step away from the vehicle so I can call the police and they can take you? Thank you. Hi. Hi, this is Christina. I'm at Parking Enforcement. I'm at the H&M in New Hyde Park. I have a disoriented female. I'm lost. She stepped into our car. She has an envelope in her hand, and I'm exactly in front of the H Mart. She doesn't know if she's coming or going, so I need some police assistance. My plans were to use this vehicle to get to yeah, her. Yeah, I would definitely get somebody here. OK, thank you. Maybe I was supposed to give you this. I don't want anything. Thank you. I'm good. You don't want it? No, I don't, but I appreciate it. Thank you. The police will be here. In Jesus? I do believe in Jesus, but thank you. Um, the police will be here to help you out, but thank you. I can feel her, like moving around, like right here. You know something? I have a ticket. That's all I know. I don't have money. I don't know where I am. I'm alive. But yet I'm dead. They should be here soon. The officers are taking control from here. I didn't want to leave her by herself because she was very disoriented. And, you know, she hopped into our vehicle thinking that it was okay for us to let her be in our vehicle, and it's not okay. We got to make sure everybody's safe. I have a very strong uh, sixth sense, and she does as well. It was just our vibes were clashing. Very strange night, but it's all good. You know, when you have bad aura, it drains Wonder Woman. Superman has kryptonite, Wonder Woman has aura problems. So Wonder Woman needs her beauty sleep so she could save the world tomorrow. I have a truck in the passenger loading zone. It's time to give it a ticket. You give me a ticket? The joke. Ridiculous. Yeah, I got two tickets up on the top there. You gotta read the signs, boss. You can read the kiosk ticket, but that just doesn't get it done in this space. You can leave now. You won't get a ticket. You see the sign? It's a passenger vehicle loading zone. Yeah, well, I'm doing the work here in here. It doesn't make a difference, man. It's a 20-minute spot. I timed you at 1021, and it's after 11 o'clock, so you've had more than double. 
uh, what is supposed to happen. I think it's ridiculous when you're really doing work right here. There's nobody else coming through here. This is ridiculous. Well, that's what it is, what it is. You might want to check on the next block. You might better get yourself a meter, that little block. Yeah, these here over here, you can park here with it. That's, that's two hour spots right there, yeah. Right here? Look, whenever you're coming down here and you're parking, just read the signs, man. You called me before I was able to write the ticket. And how much is the ticket again? This one here is $31. $31, yeah. maybe I'll just take the ticket. What? Go ahead, and throw it on here. you curse me and all that stuff? Throw it on here. All right, boss. That's a choice I'm going to make. I'm going to pay the $31 just so I can go in here and do my job. He's asking for a gift, so I'm going to abide by his wishes. So it's easier than going all the way up into the parking lot. And it's probably actually cheaper than going into a parking lot. That's why I'm going to do that truck, That's right. Yeah. I'll take it, the $31 cheaper, yeah. than going in, have the aggravation, and paying for the parking, which is almost the same. So I'll give Beautiful. the city the $31. There you go. Now, this is what you call a real citizen. I even paid, and here I thought I was doing right, and here I still was doing wrong. I'm still parked in the wrong zone. Let me zone. see. Let me add it up. We got 31, <laughs> 32, 33, 34, 35. So it's cost me 35 hours today to go to work. There it is. Another happy customer. <laughs> hey, boss. Yo, have a good one, man, all right? It's an unusual situation. Somebody actually asking me to give them a ticket and being happy to get one. I hope the city can use that money. <laughs> you know, sometimes we can make uh, wishes come true here in the park of the park. <laughs> Today's a wrap. The giving has ceased. It's time for the giver to roll. I usually park on 32nd Street. I have to pay to park just like John Q. Public. My money goes into kiosks just like everybody else. Oh, no. I got a ticket on my car, dude. Look, Buzz, apparently I, I put my um, my kiosk ticket up on my dash, and uh, it fell down on the floor. So, you know, this is not good. The giver, look, 36 bucks, folks. Just so uh, you realize I get them, too. Even though I got my receipt, it just fell off my dash. This is the season of giving, and I just received. <laughs> Ready for today. I get called clean and towing. I tow anything that's towable. I love my truck. My truck is the best. I like the way it rides. I like how it moves. It excites me being able to do something that I never know what to expect. Okay, now he's sliding down the pole. Wow. You never know what you can see once you're in Philadelphia. 10 4 Police dispatch call to come to a vehicle that paperwork is not accurate. I guess we'll see once we get on location what type of driver that we have. Hello. And here's your two citations. Thank you, officer. How you doing? We got a call for a gentleman following his car that said it was stolen. These good officers pulled me over thinking that I was going to stole the car, but it's my vehicle. What in the world? So that's the situation. taken from me yesterday. Uh, this morning, as we're driving, lo and behold, my car makes it right in front of me. <laughs> Honest to God. I might tell some stories. I mean, how many times you get your car stolen and come down to the police station and actually be behind the car? It's like calling 911 and I said, I'm following my car that was stolen. And they looped around a couple of blocks and jumped out of the car. Huh? That was when I got in the car. I really appreciate you guys coming, though. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too. Woo! Stories get weirder and weirder. And it's, it, it is kind of weird that he said he was following his car, but when he stopped, he's in the car. Usually, we don't catch the owners with their own stolen car back. Never in life heard any story like that. Through an investigation, we found out he has a suspended license. That's why we're live stopping the car now. If you drive driving with a suspended license, unlicensed driver, your vehicle's gonna get towed. $293 ticket for driving two blocks with a suspended license. We are off to lot number seven. Bad luck and good luck. At least I know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fan. <laughs> that was a weird one. I never have a person that's happy their vehicle is being towed. Maybe our lot is the safest place for this vehicle. Today, at least we have a satisfied customer with a vehicle happy to be at the PPA. <laughs> What's the beautiful thing? How are you this morning? Good morning. My 
motto has always been to treat people like you want to be treated. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Would you be mine? <laughs> you doing okay today? Great. <laughs> speak to people like you would want a person to speak to you. Hi, sir. Still brush shower until 9 30. Thank, Thank you. you. This Miss Pratt is the nicest I've seen. Have a nice day. They hate the uniform, but once they know me, they love me. <laughs> I love her. She's a good person. <laughs> See you later. That's just my personality. The reason why I like my beat, because it's small, it's productive. It's a lot of nice people. Hi, how are you? Men, they like to flirt with me. Look at that smile. <gasps> are tasteful with it. Can you park it? You sure can. And some aren't. You don't gain a little weight, too. You're looking good, girl. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> All right, give me a kiss with the camera. You know what? You're so bad. No, I'm not. No, I'm not your girlfriend. But sometimes you meet nice guys. It's only her job as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's time for a birthday break. It's time to sit down. It's time to sit down. That's weird. There's something sliding. It can't be insects. safety reasons, it won't be patrolled by me. They got free parking today. <laughs> the sidewalk is made to be walked on, not to park your car. If that's the case, we'd be walking in the street and the cars would be on the sidewalk. That'd look crazy, wouldn't it? There's another car on the sidewalk right there. Parking on the sidewalk is not negotiable. You're going to get a ticket regardless. Don't worry about it. I'm over this bitch. Hold up, over there. Hey! Come and get your car, man, before I get it. Take me off, man. I'm about to move. Watch out, man. Get out of my way. I hadn't written the ticket yet, so you good then. Man, straight at it. Matter of fact, you got your spot to leave. You up here on the back of the curb. You got the wheels over the curb. You can't be back of the curb. That's back of the curb. Man, I ain't moving mine, though. You got to be taught a lesson the hard way. You going to get a ticket. I'm not moving. OK. We've been parked there for years. I ain't never had no problem. Look how much I'm off the curb. He was driving my curb. Come on, man. Huh? Nah, you old man. No, man. I ain't playing that. I ain't playing that. I know I ain't playing that. That's a lesson learned. The next time you know. This is the only guy that come around here messing with people. What's wrong with it? Somebody need to put a ticket on your car. Your car parked illegal right now. I'm in it, though, man. But still, though, you got to move it. Nah, I'm going to make him move. Watch this. Get out of the way. Come on, man. Damn. Right there, I ain't never had nobody run me off nowhere. Now, those guys were really playing a game. You know, they playing. I'm taking care of my business. If you park illegally, you're going to be a member of Violation Nation, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so we're going to head west here. This area is the Badlands. It is a uh, seriously heavy crime area, heavy drug activity in this area also. The shoes hanging from the wires that's a weird thing in the city, and I don't know what it means. All right, we're looking for George Hall, 59. 
Damn, we got a U.S. Marshal here in front of us. I don't know if we can boot around here, Garfield. Full riot gear and everything. This guy, M16. Well, we certainly have a lot of protection here. Probably uh, looking for somebody to pick somebody up on a federal warrant. My guess from the way they're outfitted is he's a pretty bad person. Okay, this your car? No, the my grandson. Yeah, he owe parking tickets. Este carro es de mi nene, él me lo dio en Hawaii. Yeah, él está el tipo a corte la semana pasada para los tickets. Por eso es que me extraño. Ese carro no está en problema. Yo no sé por qué le están poniendo eso. I couldn't understand her language real good. All right, and that's it. We had a real easy time with this one because uh, we had about 10 U.S. Marshals armed with M16, so uh, we weren't too worried about anybody giving us a problem. Were you carrying an M16? No, 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 no. I didn't get a chance to get nothing to eat, Garfield. Did you eat this morning? I have trouble getting Sherry to eat sometimes. Garfield. I'm afraid she's going to get so skinny she'll blow away. Everywhere you look, there's good food. We are going to get a pinchos, which is a chicken skewer. Can we get three of them, please? Mm, delicious. Some parts of the Badlands aren't bad at all. They're very good. Very tasty. <laughs> Dark bell. The light is killing my eyes. Every morning, I assess the weather for the day, and I choose my sunglasses. That's for like real overcast days, another overcast pair, and that's for the bright sunny days. To make me look like a star. <laughs> and these are the pair I've chosen for today. They're pretty darkly tinted because it's gonna be all sun today. Very few clouds in the sky. Steve had many collection of glasses for different days, different weather. I like the light blue ones. It reminds you of the sky. I'm a man of many faces. Yes, Steve looked like Jack Nicholson. It's a long shot, but there's some similarities. You know, the hair going back. <laughs> But sometimes he needs to take them glasses off because he can't tell what color a vehicle is. Uh, that's sort of a blue color to me. This car is definitely green. Crocodile, <laughs> take off them glasses, green. please. Green. What is blue. wrong with you? That's green. That's blue. Garfield, I think he need to go home and get some sleep. Because he's getting his colors mixed up. What color do you think that car is? <laughs> See, they agree with me. Blue. Right. Blind is green. Green. Aqua blue. Aqua green. Aqua, OK. Blue, eh? Blue with a bright yellow boot on it. <laughs> well, there's a difference of opinion. Green. That's what color the car is. So I'm going to let her write green if she wants. But I say blue. I think men and women see the same colors. Maybe women know the difference between, like, teal and blue, and most men, I don't think, know the difference. Probably has to do with their eye for fashion. Been with Garfield for three years. We don't see eye to eye when it comes to colors. Just that gray one. Yeah. This one. Oh. Sherry said gray. She was off a little in her color. Well, I don't know what color he sees. It's silver. Tan. It's not tan, Garfield. I'd say that's blue. Green. That car was a really unusual brown. Gray. I don't know where you gray. get brown. A brownish gray. Well, for one thing, I think he needs to take off his sunglasses when he's looking at a car. And then he'll really see it the way I see it. Yeah. We have a hit, Garfield. I think it's this red truck over here. Are you sure, Garfield? I'm positive. It's red. It is red. It's a heavy hitter, too, so I'm going to put right. it in, all right? We're getting ready to boot this cup of cola. We've not booted anything this side. What can I say? It's another boot, and it's going to be booted. Oh, my God! Is that a boot on a big behind Coca-Cola truck? 
we're gonna need a tow truck. They can't tow this Scarfield. Oh yeah, they got the big record. It's not going anywhere, but the boot is not on there good enough really to leave it. So we're gonna call for a tow. And if the owner comes out, they'll probably want to try to pay for it before it gets towed. Garfield's calling to see whether they're going to tow it. It's a heavy hitter. And normally, they don't like to leave heavy hitters on the street. Ma'am, we have an unbootable Coca-Cola delivery truck. It's red in color. It's a heavy hitter. We don't know whether it's loaded or not. Who booted my car, yo? Why you boot my car, dog? Too big. It's better be a joke, man, for real. They have a lot of tickets on that car. Nah, man, it shouldn't be no tickets because the company pays it. They haven't paid all their tickets. There's a lot of tickets I'm on I'm going to finish my delivery. There's over $800 in tickets oh, on this car. Oh, you bugging, dog. I can't believe this. 741, I'm going to try to get somebody over there. Uh, 10 for ma'am. Hey, you going to take the boot off? No, I got to finish my delivery. Boot. You can't take the boot off, sir. You mean to tell me you're going to try to tow a big good. work truck? Yeah. They're not gonna appreciate that, man. I would suggest you call the company right away. Yeah, you Tell bugging. I'm about to call right now. You Tell them crazy. it's gonna be towed. If they want to pay over the phone, they can do that oh, before the tow crazy, truck gets here. Man. I can't believe that. Still got 30 deliveries, dogs. Hey, no, I'm calling you because some guy put a boot on the truck. Uh, 10 4, ma'am. Be advised. Uh, the driver contacted the company. And they're going to try to pay over the phone also. We're not sure what's going to happen. We're waiting to hear back from our boss. And whatever they say, that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait either to get a paid release on this from when his company pays over the phone. But if the company isn't able to pay it, they will tow it. He needs to start drinking more Coca-Cola, man. Everybody in the world drinks Coca-Cola, man. I don't understand. Look at him. He's looking simple with them big blue glasses on. OK. <laughs> I guess Canada Dry is gonna suck up some of their customers now. <laughs> simple. Hey, what don't he look simple? Yeah, real simple. <laughs> he needs some Dr. Pepper in him or something. The guy seems to think that we have something against Coca-Cola. Maybe we don't like their uh, product, but actually, I like Coca-Cola. I get down with a Coke once in a while. 741. So what's going on? Special release? All right. OK. Got me, baby. Yeah, we got it. We're doing what they call a special release. A lot of these big companies are registered with a fleet program with the parking authority, which means they take care of their tickets in mass. And that truck was not listed as one of the fleet trucks. That's a mistake, so I'm going to release it. Oh, it's stuck. It won't come off. <laughs> uh, all right, man, have a good one. <laughs> No boot or no big red Coca-Cola truck. It was mm -hmm. just priceless. Yeah, he was mad. He was mad. <laughs> hey, I'm happy that the boot is off my Coca-Cola truck. I think he was a little upset. He didn't think he'd be able to finish his deliveries for the day. Now I'll go back to work, get back to what I do. I was out in the sun talking to that guy. Somebody else was sitting chilling in the AC. We won't say who. Now, why you go there? <laughs> <laughs> now we try to find a couple more hits. How you doing? Is that your car there? The blue one? No, the blue one, not mine. Oh, okay. I thought that was green, Arthur. Oh, no, 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 no. This is your car? You said blue car. <laughs> this one. Hey, I think you said the blue car. You need to handle them tickets. No I told you, you see him blue. Garfield, I did I not see that it was not blue. Garfield, now you know. Look blue to me.